I'd like to talk about the bed command. For pet owners, frankly, uh, the recall and the bed command are probably the most wanted commands for them to learn how to teach their dogs. You know, when your doorbell rings, you want your dog to go get on the bed. When guests come over to the house and your dog's all excited, you say, go to your bed, and the dog has to go to its bed. Or, let's say you just want to watch TV at night, and you don't want your dog messing around all the time, say, go get on your bed. So we're going to teach, and we've already talked about how to teach the bed command. When you get to this level of training, we're going to talk about enforcing the dog to stay on the bed until you release it with an all done. And you're going to see a video as I'm talking here of a commercial application at Chad Hunter's school down in Cave Creek where there's a lot of things going on at one time when these dogs come in for training, when they're in for a board and train situation. They'll put beds everywhere. And They'll move these dogs from bed to bed to bed to bed, but they're not using the remote collar until after that dog fully understands when they say get on the bed and the dog gets on the bed, but then they reach a point because there's something else going on over here with balls being tossed off the wall or whatever, and they don't want to get on their bed. And that's when they'll uh, pair the bed command with the remote collar. And the second way they'll do it is if a dog's laying on a bed and something happens, another dog walks by, uh, we roll a ball, and the dog goes to get off the bed, we say, no, bed. And we, we stimulate the dog until it gets back on the bed. And what we'll do, this is, one, this is one location, or one application, I should say, where we will use low-level stimulation in continuous. When the dog gets off the bed, no, bed. We leave it on until the dog goes over, gets on the bed, and we release it. The dog's learning how to turn stimulation off. And as long as we're not way too high, as long as we get compliance, we stay at the level that we're at. But if the dog blows us off and won't do it, obviously, you have to go up in the level of stimulation to get the dog onto it. But I think the way we look at it is, why go high? unless you absolutely have to. All you do is stress out your dog. If we get compliance, stay at the level that we're at.